So, in previous few lectures, we talked about how do we plot points on ROC curve. And there we learned that these points change as the cutoff point is changed. So, initially we had a cutoff point of 0.5, then we had a cutoff point of almost 0, then we had a cutoff point of 1, then we had a cutoff point of 0.8 as the probability and so on. So, we can do this step by step or other thing could be just use mini tab and make ROC curve and that is what we are doing here. So, we are using mini tab to create ROC curve. So, for that what I will do is here is my data which is annual income and American Express. So, this is the data I will be using. So, for this I will go to stat regression and in regression I will go to binary logistic regression and fit binary logistic model. This is something which we have done earlier as well. In my response, I will put the American Express and my continuous predictor is the annual income. Then I will click on graphs and in graphs, I will select this which is receiver operating characteristics or ROC curve. So, if I click on this, this will create ROC curve as well. Press OK and press OK. So, here is the result of analysis just like what we have done earlier, but in addition to this, we get ROC curve as well. So, this is our ROC curve and uh, as you could see that these are the two points which we plotted individually, 1 and 2 and then we plotted these extreme points as well. What Minitab has done is Minitab has taken various probability values as the cut point and based on that Minitab has created this curve which is the plot between sensitivity and 1 minus specificity. Other thing what you can see is area under the curve which is 0.8852 and this is what we started our discussion with which is here as well. So, that is what we are learning here. What does this mean? So, now area under ROC curve which is 0.8852 is this area. Let us talk about this on PowerPoint slide in the next video. There we will analyze this ROC curve.